It's called TikTok. And it's a new social media app that apparently everyone you talk to who's under 25 years old is using all of the time, all of a sudden. So is there any hope for a 45-year-old dad to understand it? Well, I caught up with Emma Bentley, who's a BBC journalist, crucially is in her early 20s, and also crucially is a TikTok user. Could she be my bridge to the really young folks using the latest online phenomenon? Good morning, Pat. So... Tell me about your exploration of TikTok, because I've seen on your Twitter feed some of these videos coming up, and I don't really get, probably because I'm not the target audience, why this social media opportunity has suddenly got so big when we've already got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the rest of it. Yeah, so a lot of people have asked me, what actually is it? So it's an app that can be used for creating and sharing short videos. So I found TikTok via my sister. She was telling me about it and I didn't actually realise how big it was. It's actually had 1.5 billion downloads worldwide, Good which is grief. huge. That's incredible, and isn't it? It's crazy. Why is it so popular, though? Why, when we've got so many other apps for that kind of thing these days, has it had this massive build-up so quickly? I think we've got Instagram, where you share pictures and videos, and then you have perhaps Twitter, where you share memes. And this is sort of a collaboration of them both. So for someone who's never been on the app before, content includes memes, which are images, videos, pieces of text, typically humorous in nature, that spread rapidly on the internet, along with viral dance routines, lip syncing, videos of pets cut together with music, and relatable scenarios, scenarios that teenagers can relate to when they don't really get on any other platforms. BBC. So I'm trying to get my head around this app that young people love called TikTok. And Emma Bentley, who's a BBC journalist, she's uh, new to the corporation, she's in her early 20s, she's been giving me a training course in this staggeringly popular social media app as I try and understand what it is and whether I can use it to my own benefit. Well, it's owned by Chinese tech company ByteDance and, as I mentioned before, has had 1.5 billion app downloads. Is it a fad? Lots of people have asked me this question, who knows? And only time will tell, but as of this morning, TikTok topped the charts as the Apple App Store's top free app, ahead of WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and even Netflix. So at the moment, it's topping the charts. Will it be there in five years' time? We don't know. And there has been a bit of controversy about where the data from it goes as a, as a Chinese firm, apparently. There has been uh, eyebrows raised about the, the fact that we've given away mm -hmm. quite a lot of ourselves on it, some of us. Yes, back in November, researchers at security firm Checkpoint found multiple issues, including the ability for a hacker to delete videos, change settings from private to public, and force the user onto web servers controlled by the hacker. Now, TikTok did come back with a statement thanking Checkpoint for the alert and has assured us and made a statement that all issues have been resolved in the latest version. Mm, they've got all your data. Mind you, says Facebook and Twitter, in fairness, hasn't it? And actually, as Emma said to us, it's not that different from social media apps in other ways as well, in that it is basically an online popularity competition. There's lots of influencers on there, and the more popular they get, the more other people want to try and beat them, I guess. So just for some sort of context, there's a TikToker called Lauren Gray. She has 38 million followers, closely followed by Zach King, who has 33 million followers. So there's lots of people around the country that want to try and beat those people and also recreate videos that they've done in order to get their own following. And so there's a sort of style that builds up as well. If there's a very famous yes, one, people do their own takes yes. on it. You get that on YouTube as well, don't you, with TV shows and films and that kind of thing. People nicking yeah, uh, so ideas. Yeah, so there's viral music and sort of scenarios and memes that people try to recreate in their, their own version. So I could do for my first TikTok then, Emma, that classic meme of Captain Picard from Star Trek just putting his head in his hands when he reacts to something badly online. Maybe if I shaved my head and, and wore the Star Trek uniform, or maybe that could be my first one. I could be a meme. <laughs> um, I hate to say it, I don't really know what you're talking about. But oh, sure, no, I'm sure there a, are. I'm sure you have the audience. <laughs> with a young person, I've embarrassed myself. You, you, but, well, I'm Alex... sure there's an audience there for you. Okay. Now, look, this isn't Emma's fault, but can I just say, it's not right that I should have to talk to people on this programme who don't know who Captain Jean-Luc Picard is. I'm sorry. That's like saying you don't know who Shakespeare is, as far as I'm concerned. So, if my Star Trek idea is terribly, embarrassingly dated, what would Emma suggest might get me some hits on this thing? Okay, I think that you need to create your brand. This is the way you've got to play it if you want the TikTok clout. So, if you want the fame from it. Right. So, you've got to decide who you are on TikTok. 
So are you a presenter? Are you a father? Are you somebody who makes jokes? And I think people who are successful, I think I found success because I was doing other people, things other people weren't. So I was showing things from behind the camera, how we do BBC News. Right. And I think that is potentially something you could play on as a presenter. So you could show what you do, your mixing desk, that type of thing, who you have on the show. And then that could get you more followers and lots of views. So me and producer Bob having a heated discussion about what we're going to discuss on the phone in that day, that kind of thing. Exactly. People would love it. Okay. Thank you, Emma Bentley, for taking me through all that.